Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. What if guys today is a build video and today I'm going to be showing you guys my PvP build that I think you guys should make 100% if you are new, if you're coming back, if you don't really play too much PvP. Uh, this build is really fast and easy to make and what I mean by that is you don't really have to play the game that much to make this. You can just pretty much get on, play a couple missions um, and pretty much try to get this build. Um, as I said, it really depends on your RNG. But like I said, it's not one of those builds that you just have to grind and grind and grind and play the game over again. You can get on, hopefully get lucky, and get this build done within a few hours. Also, keep in mind, you can use this with classified versions, you can use this with a ninja bike backpack, or you could just use this with regular gear. Obviously, the classified is going to be a little bit better, especially for PvP. But again, if you just want a good PvP build, this one is for you. So without further ado, what I'm talking about is this. Now, yes, this is a... 3-piece Banshee, 2-piece Predator's Mark, and 1-piece Ninja Bug Backpack build. This is actually a build I've been using forever when this patch came out. Um, this was actually the build I kind of predicted was going to be really, really good. And it's not the best build, don't get me wrong. Uh, obviously, something like Classified Nomad or Classified Predator Mark still is very, very good in the Dark Zone. But this is a build that really competes with this. And you can get a lot of kills, especially in like Last Stand or Skirmish, because the, the builds... Um, you know, normalized, so everything is, is way higher and your stats are pretty much maxed out. But even something like the Dark Zone does build melt, you guys see in previous videos uh, of me using this build, and even on stream sometimes when I did play the Dark Zone, I always use this build. So, what I'm going to go over first is the weapon. So, obviously, I am using the house. If you guys don't have this, you can go with a Navy, Navy MP5N, the AUG, even MP7 if you want, um, but obviously the house is the best option. And what I'm rocking on it is responsive, unforgiving, and the card counter exotic talent. As for the weapon mods, I'm using everything with critical hit damage and crit chance. Um, you guys can see on my magazine, I do have rate of fire, which is really, really important. And then crit chance on the suppressor, I'm using the tyrant with crit chance, critical hit damage, headshot damage. And then for the grip, obviously we have critical hit damage again. Now for the secondary, I'm actually using a lightweight four with predatory, vicious and responsive. And for your backup, you always wanna have something that you can use that range if you are using a submachine gun as your main. So I'm using a lightweight M4. You guys can use something like a ACR, uh, M700 carbon, whatever you're comfortable with. I just use this because, um, you know, whenever I run out of ammo, I could switch to this and, uh, and get those kills kind of far away or just, you know, if I'm just out of ammo. For the gear mods, I'm using everything with 267 stamina and 1% critical hit chance. And I'm also using 6% first aid self heals. Now, although I don't really have that much skill power and electronics, you still want to use the first aid self heals because they're going to help you out a little bit, although it's not going to be a significant amount. Something like this is still better than nothing. So um, again, if, you, if you're playing by yourself, you want to use this. If you are playing with a healer and someone's just following you and, and shooting you heals, you can take this off, put on like pulse critical hit chance or critical hit damage mod um, or something like that. It's, it's really up to you. Anyways, moving on to the main part of the video, and that is the gear and what I have rolled on it. Uh, really quickly, I do want to say though, if you are planning on using this in the Dark Zone, I would recommend using this build like this, with 3 Banshee, 2 Predator's Mark, and an Ninja Rock Backpack. But if you want to use it for Last Stand or Skirmish, switch out one of the Banshee for a Predator Mark so you get that bleed. Um, again, 4 Banshee is not going to be really useful in Last Stand or Skirmish, so, you know, change that out. But again, if you want to use this for the Dark Zone, just use the build like this. Uh, so anyways, for the chest piece, what I'm using on it is firearms, health, EDR, ammo capacity, nothing really too special here. For the mask, we have firearms again with critical hit chance, burn resistance. Moving down for knee pads, we have firearms, health, disorient resistance, disrupt resistance, and shock resistance. I am missing burn, but it is what it is. Uh, for the backpack, we are using stamina, health, burn resistance once again. For my gloves, I'm using Stamina, SMG Damage, Critical Hit Damage, and Critical Hit Chance. And last but not least, for the holster, we're using Crit Chance as always. Uh, moving on, I do want to show you guys the character stats. I know they're pretty important and everyone is always curious about this. So for the weapon damage, I'm sitting at 22,000. 52% Critical Hit Chance, 87% Critical Hit Damage, 62% Headshot Damage. And uh, I'm also sitting at 353,000 max health and 7,750 armor. The one thing I do want to say about this build, it is fully optimized um, with like the major attributes and minor attributes and also the the stat rolls. The armor rolls are not fully optimized um, as you guys can see, but besides that, everything is optimized. So my stats might look a little bit better than yours, um, but you know, I just kind of spent the division tech and a lot of 
credits into this build, so that's why it looks like this. Anyways, moving on for the abilities. Uh, so what I'm using is a concealer. This is my first thing, and honestly, for the dark zone, if you are playing by yourself, this is a must in my opinion. You never really want to be seen too much uh, if you are trying to farm or if you're trying to kind of go on with your day. If you want to PvP a lot, maybe something like a um, like a tactical scanner would be a little bit better. Um, but you know, they're both really good. And again, if you want to be that stealth kind of player in the dark zone, the scrambler is really useful. And I'm also using a booster shot. This is for the extra uh, damage, damage resilience and stuff like that. You can go with overheal, get a little bit more healing um, or overdose, I should say, but it's really up to you. And it, I mean, there is a difference. As you guys can see, the, the difference is a little bit, but it's not really going to matter that much. You, you would rather want the damage and damage resilience, in my opinion, uh, with this build. And last but not least for the talents, I'm using Adrenaline, Critical Save, Strike Back, and On The Move. Um, but yeah, that is it for the video, that is it for the build. This is pretty much my go-to build right now, I would say, if I don't want to use Nomad, if I don't want to use Pred, if I don't want to use like a full Banshee build. This is the build I run around with, it's really fun, it's really kind of versatile with um, how you can change it for like the Pred bleed or uh, the Dark Zone kind of version, as I said uh, earlier in the video. So. It's really up to you if you want to use this build, if you want to try it out, if you need a good PvP build, if you are new or coming back, try this out, let me know how it works out for you. As I said, I personally like it a lot, and it does wonders for me um, in the game. But once again, that's it for the video, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, I'll respond to all my comments. But once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.